Good morning, my name is Taya Schultz. I'm Hong Tuan Han. I'm Ruth Wok Khan. And my name is Viet An. And we welcome you back to a new episode of our ISOT TV News. During the fall vacation of the previous quarter, teachers, staff, and parents from the international school and several other schools gathered at Vornwa for the annual teachers convention. remember some of the highlights of the past year and one of the main ones was the regional the fall educators convention and the theme of the convention was light your world yeah and we had so many different nice activities to offer to all the participants there were master classes workshops and everyone really could lighten his world with new knowledge, with new experiences and with new opportunities to make friends among those people coming from the regions and from Moscow schools. The weeks following the school's reopening were filled with activity as students from our school and other international school in Moscow participated in scheduled tournaments and related sports events. A couple weeks ago we had played a, a very much anticipated game that we have been waiting for and looking forward to looking forward to yeah, against AAS. We look forward to playing AAS in the future in tournaments and actual games uh, and other competitive games because we feel like we're ready. In November, we had um, a very successful, successful and productive um, result which uh, uh, we brought the second place with the senior football team and uh, we are very proud and happy that uh, to see the results in, uh, in our school. Halfway into the sports season, our school held its traditional Thanksgiving chapels. Organized by the student council and several volunteers, these chapels were filled with activities and lots of fun. Another of our eyes saw traditions, the food sculpture contest, took place on November the 23rd. This year's contest was festive and colorful and brought away some unexpected wins. At the International School of Tomorrow, we believe that Christmas is a time for giving. Our We Care charity projects are ISOT's way of sharing the joys of Christmas for those less fortunate. Last year we started a project called the We Care Project where we find different foundations and people in need to help them. This year to continue the project, we organized an Asian snack bazaar to have a 14 years old boy who had cancer and lived 9,000 kilometers away from Moscow and needed money for the medication. This bazaar was a huge success where we sold out in a total of 15 minutes and made 21,650 rubles. And we donated all the money to this boy. Thank you so much for your donation and hope you enjoyed the bazaar. The next few weeks of the quarter was spent in active practice and preparation by all four of our school clubs for our Christmas program, which took place on the 14th of December and was a night of memorable celebration. At the end of the Christmas program, parents, friends, and all in attendance were able to buy crafts made by our students at the Christmas Bazaar. For the first time ever, our school launched its very own collection of merchandise. The proceeds will go towards student council initiatives as well as, as the two orphanages I saw support.
Happy New Year! Uh, every December, our school begins preparation for the Christmas program, one of the major events of the International School of Tomorrow. And I believe that, that during this season, you will all have a wonderful time. You will spend it with your families, with your friends. And you will celebrate the new year with gifts. But most of all, we would love for you to bless everybody with God's love. May it prevail in our hearts. May it be a part of us wherever we go. God bless you. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. As both this year and the quarter draw to a close, we wish all of our students the best of luck in their studies and hope to see you all again with more exciting episodes. From all of us here at ISO, we wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Goodbye! Goodbye.